In this video we're going to take a look at Blackhawk strip discs. We're going to see how long they last and how well they remove paint and rust. Stay tuned! Alright guys, so I've been working on stripping the paint from the interior of this 1971 Camaro. This progress here with the package tray and the panel behind the seat, and that's all the further, was all done with, oh and of course the sides, the wheel wells. Uh, that was done with 36 grit sanding discs to basically remove most of the paint, and then I went back over it with a brown, which is a coarse conditioning disc, and I went through probably 15 or 20 conditioning discs to get this to look like this. And then I ran out of those things, so I ordered some strip discs, Blackhawk brand, that I want to try out today. So um, I've used 3M stuff before, and it worked okay. So let's go take a look at these Blackhawk discs and see what we're going to do. All right, so here we go. These are Blackhawk quick change strip discs, and basically these fit on your roll lock attachments. Um, I want to give these a shot because I've had good luck with the 3M nylon pads like this one here. You can see this attaches to a drill. And this works really well actually, so it's not as coarse. This one's pretty soft and flexible compared to uh, these Blackhawk ones. So let's go ahead and open these up and take a look. All right, so these attach to the right angle die grinder here. Um, this is a three inch backing plate. This is a three inch disc. And these things are supposed to be, they have really good reviews. They're supposed to be able to remove a good bit of paint and rust. So we're gonna put them to the test and see how far we can get with just one of these three inch discs inside the Camaro. So let's go ahead and get that on there. All right, so that's on. It's kind of what it looks like there. And I don't know how fast we can actually spin these things, so we'll take it slow. These ones here, I mean, they're for a drill, so they only go, this says, this is a 3M brand and it says 3500 RPMs. So we'll take it easy, see how it goes. And go from there. So I've been going about 10 minutes now and I got this rear seat, the left side pretty much taken care of. I might have to come in with a two inch disc and touch some areas up I can't get like in the corner. But other than that, the bulk of this is pretty much done. So, and here is how much is left of the three inch disc? We still got the majority of it left. It barely touched this thing. So this thing is awesome so far and a huge, huge time saver compared to the way I was doing it. All right, so let's jump over to this section. We'll do the transmission tunnel to about here, back, and then we'll do this side here. And we're going to do that with the same disc that we used on this left side. So 
by the looks of this we'll be able to get through this easy so let's go ahead and see now these seats these seat areas they didn't have a lot of paint on them they had a little bit of rust encapsulator uh, but I don't know how much is left on there now this transmission tunnel it's got the original factory primer on it and it's got rust encapsulator over top of it the reason it has rust encapsulator is one time I decided to rust encapsulate all this thing but now I want to get it all out of there and, and uh, hit it with some epoxy primer so it also seems like it gets in the pit, pits real good so that's pretty cool makes it nice and easy um, I'll have to hit this area with the wire wheel. Now the thing you got the thing you got to be careful of with this is you you don't want to hit this disc up against like metal edges. So like you know you get in here and stuff. It'll probably cut it up pretty good. Um, it looked like when I hit it over here, when I hit this, I could see pieces going a little bit. And same thing, I, I nicked up against this uh, wire piece here or whatever this is to uh, and um, you know you could you could kind of hear it cutting at it so stay away from that stuff uh, maybe when we get close to the end we can see how well it holds up to something like this but for now I'm gonna stay away from any sharp edges and see how far we make it again let's see how far we can make it on one disc Alright, so still on one disc, got up to there done, and now I'm working on this side. I just got to the point where I put the 2 inch roll lock attachment on and moved the disc over because I like to take it sideways into stuff and it wore down enough to where the 3 inch rubber disc was hitting stuff. So, so using the two inch disc, I can now get into the tight spots again. Honestly, you could probably just use the two inch backing plate instead of the three. It's, this stuff's pretty stiff. But yeah, here's, uh, here's what's left so far. All right guys, one disc. We got all that. All the way up to there. Same thing over here. Got up that way and about to the same spot here. So here's what's left. Uh, this is the two inch backing plate. See, I got about two inches left. I'm actually really impressed by this. I would have never guessed it would have lasted that long. Um, so it's going to be definitely one of my new favorite uh, stripping discs. So I'll probably swap this out for another three inch. Reason being is that like trying to get in all these tight places, it's uh, you start bumping up against the rubber when it gets down. And I'll just save this, and I'll use it to grind you know or not grind but um I'll use it to clean paint and stuff off before welding clean up the metal you know when you just got a nice flat spot this little piece will be good for that so yeah thumbs up to these for sure all right guys there you have it hope that was useful 
If it was, give it a big thumbs up. If you like this type of content, please consider subscribing. And if you do subscribe, hit that notification bell so you get alerts when we post new videos. If you have any questions or comments, go ahead and put them down below. We'll see you in the next one.